It's been so long, it's been so long Cruising to the campsite, singing our song It's been so long, it's been so long We are the Airstream Nerds Hi, this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds just got back from running an errand and my propane gas detector was beeping like crazy. Um, I had the light blinking up here. Uh, it was making lots of racket and I wasn't sure what was going on because I haven't had the propane on but a couple times over the winter months. Um, and I knew I didn't have a propane leak um, because my propane tanks are off, like I said. So first thing I wanted to do was try to figure out if I could just unplug this thing while I while I, I went and Googled or, or what, whatever, trying to figure out what will cause this other than gas, um, a gas leak. So uh, I couldn't figure out how to pull this thing off. It seemed like it was loose. Um, I pulled the four screws um, and pulled the whole thing out. Turns out that there is a nice big lead on this, so you can pull it out a good, a good ways to, uh, so work on it in your lap lots of room back in there but what I did what I did discover by googling was that there are lots of people that have had this problem um, one of the things that you should do is take a vacuum and vacuum out the the port here dust will get in there it could cause false readings um, believe it or not a, a, a pet's fart could set it off. Um, chemicals, spray, you know, anything, anything can can set it off. Although it was an empty trailer and there's nothing going on in here, uh, I'm not sure what set it off today. So, I guess at some point I did something to um, not like it because eventually it powered off. So. Um, I was doing some some other stuff earlier in the day, so I may have tripped the fuse, and this may have residual power. Um, it might take a while for the capacitor to discharge, so this thing could go off for a little while before the battery runs out. Because while I was in the middle of testing everything, the power did go out to it. At that point, I needed to find out where the where the power was fed. Um, so I called the guy who did our solar up upgrade which I'll be posting a video here um, in the next few weeks um, and he told me right where the fuse was now I know some of you have had this problem and have cut the wires to shut the thing up in the middle of the night but at least in my particular model there's an easier solution so my particular model which is the the front bed twins 25 foot flying cloud 25 FB um, he told me under the mattress on the passenger side here is a little plate that opens up into the bus bar and other stuff. So it's a nice little plate that Airstream has made. They've put it there. Um, access into here. Now what used to be in here was the inverter and a whole mess of spaghetti wires as you can see it's nice and neat Lou's done a great job um, but what he told me was there is a small little one amp fuse in here that is on your bus bar which is this right here um, I pulled it apart I tested it on a meter um, and I found the fuse to be dead grabbed an, a new fuse put the fuse in powered the it powered it back up the light blinked it blinked for about 30 seconds then it's turned solid green and that's where it's been the last few minutes so I don't know what it was could have been anything so at this point my system is back working now just in case you're curious on how the hell I checked the fuse. Those of you that already know how to do this, go ahead and fast forward. But those that don't, it's really simple. Get you a, a multimeter that has a continuity checker on there. 
switch it to continuity now most most of them that have a continuity checker will make an audible noise when you press the lead together so all the fuses is a couple of caps with a filament going between them and the filament size is based on the size of the fuse it's needing to be so all you do is you put your your leads on either side of the fuse if your continuity meter beeps you know it's a good fuse if however you put them on there and it doesn't beep just like this one here then you know that you have a bad fuse anyway we're all good now this is Jeff from Airstream Nerds happy camping